Tell me what you see when you search for the term Airbus A390 on the internet. Will there be information about a gigantic three-deck six-engine aircraft based on the A380 model? It sounds fantastical, but you know what? Half of it is true. Airbus is doing something more interesting, more realistic, more audacious, and even something unprecedented for their new A390 aircraft program. So what will the A390 ultimately look like? When can we see this aircraft? Let's find out with us. After discontinuing the A380 Super Jumbo and introducing the efficient A350 wide body line, the name A390 would be a logical next step marking the next generation, perhaps even a rebirth. Although Airbus is known for skipping certain model numbers, for example, we never saw an A360 or A370 take flight, assigning a new name would signal a true difference, a technological leap beyond its current aircraft family. Launching an entirely new type of aircraft, especially a large wide body, is a monumental strategic decision involving a complex blend of technical, economic, and long-term strategic factors. The decision to launch would be based on the maker recognizing the explosive potential from the following strategic factors. The most important factor is market demand. The dramatic collapse of the A380 program taught the European maker an expensive lesson building the largest aircraft in the world does not guarantee success. Airlines today prefer flexible twin-engine wide bodies with long range and lower operating costs. However, after the A380 program ended in 2021, and as global air travel rebounded sharply, a new scenario began to emerge. Congestion at major hub airports continues to rise, fueling speculation that Airbus might eventually return to the high-capacity aircraft market. The goal would be to create a fuel and cost-efficient successor to the A380 designed for extremely busy long-haul routes. This would be a bet on the growth of bridge routes between megacities routes that demand the most efficient way to transport large numbers of passengers. Moreover, development costs and return on investment are crucial considerations for Airbus. New aircraft programs can be staggeringly expensive, reaching up to $15 billion from concept to first flight. However, the sheer scale and complexity of such a project could also create an unbreakable competitive advantage. If the A390 succeeds, it could quickly dominate the high-capacity wide-body market segment where its main rival Boeing might be unable to respond in time or lack the resources to develop an equivalent aircraft. This is a risky decision, but one that could yield monopoly-level profits for decades. The maker could fully justify the $15 billion investment by confidently projecting strong long-term demand, surpassing 400 units sold, driven by the continuous growth of global passenger traffic. After years of focusing on Neo New Engine option variants with lower R&D costs, the maker now holds a solid financial and technical position to take on this risk, to reshape the wide-body market, and secure enormous profits for itself alone. The massive cost itself would serve as a barrier to entry for competitors turning the new aircraft into a potential money printing machine. Furthermore, cutting carbon emissions is no longer a challenge but a golden opportunity for the A390. With stricter global regulations, older wide-body jets will soon be obsolete, paving the way for Airbus to lead the green revolution. The new aircraft could become the symbol of sustainable aviation built with ultralight composites, advanced aerodynamics, and next-generation engines like open-rotor designs. Fully compatible with sustainable aviation fuel and ready for future hydrogen propulsion, it would offer huge operational advantages over retrofitted rivals. By leading this green race, the manufacturer wouldn't just meet new standards, it would set them making the A390 the essential aircraft for airlines seeking performance efficiency and environmental leadership. Another key strategic factor is the lifespan of the current wide-body fleet. By the mid-2030s, many first-generation wide-bodies, including the A330 and Boeing 777, will be reaching retirement age. This fleet renewal cycle opens a golden opportunity. A new wide body could capitalize on this massive replacement wave, especially if it offers superior performance and is designed around clean fuel advancements. This will be the moment when airlines seek long-term sustainable solutions for their future fleets. And indeed, Airbus hasn't disappointed those eager for something new. They may not call it the A390, but what they're working on is far more interesting, more realistic, more daring, and something truly unprecedented in modern aviation. So what exactly is Airbus really doing something bolder, more practical, and unlike anything before? By the way, please take a second and hit that subscribe button. We know you're going to love what's coming next. When the first rumors about the A390 began circulating, the aviation world buzzed with wild theories. The unprecedented three-deck concept quickly spread, sparking a wave of online hype about a plane even larger than the A380. However, both industry experts and Airbus itself were quick to dismiss that outlandish idea. 
the maker has no intention of repeating the A380's mistakes. Adding another deck would make the aircraft too heavy, too technically complex, and far too fuel-hungry a recipe for failure. This time, Airbus has done things right. The company's new aircraft is being designed as a sleek, single-deck, wide-body aircraft, streamlined, elegant, and powerful. This design directly addresses one of its predecessor's biggest flaws, airport compatibility. Unlike the A380, which could only operate at 144 specially upgraded airports worldwide, the A390's dimensions are optimized to take off and land at most major hubs. This not only enables far more flexible route planning, but also broadens the network reach and offers the kind of operational versatility airlines crave. The first major breakthrough of the new aircraft lies in its materials. The maker has made serious investments in next-generation composite materials lighter, stronger, and safer than ever before. This significantly reduces the aircraft's weight, resulting in exceptional fuel efficiency, lower carbon emissions, and reduced operating costs, the three key economic factors every airline seeks. But the real highlight is its ultra-long range up to 11,580 miles, 18,640 kilometers. That's enough for non-stop flights between some of the world's farthest city pairs such as New York to Sydney or London to Auckland. This range comfortably outperforms the 777-9's 8,383 miles, and even the 777-8's 10 Yo 46 miles positioning the A390 as the clear leader in the ultra-long-haul segment. This was driven by one of the most crucial components, its engines. Airbus is actively in talks with Rolls-Royce to equip its new aircraft with ultra-fan engines, a cutting-edge geared turbofan design with an extremely high bypass ratio developed over more than a decade. The ultra-fan is expected to deliver up to 25% better fuel efficiency than current generation engines dramatically lowering both emissions and operating costs. This collaboration aims to recreate and surpass the success of the Trent XWB engines on the A350, taking efficiency and performance to an entirely new level on the A390. Not only that, inside this new aircraft will redefine what passengers can expect from a twin-engine aircraft, the cabin, incredibly spacious, accommodating 400 to 450 passengers, is designed with a modern, minimalist, yet luxurious aesthetic depending on each airline's cabin configuration. This surpasses its main rival, the Boeing 777X, which can carry a maximum of 426 passengers. Like the legendary A380, the A390 is a powerful brand statement, allowing airlines to customize layouts for all types of travel, from economy with generous legroom, to first class with fully flat beds, onboard bars, and even private lavatories. Moreover, larger windows let in more natural light, while advanced soundproofing ensures a peaceful, quiet journey. More importantly, the air quality will be greatly improved. A new filtration system maintains ideal humidity and cabin pressure, reducing passenger fatigue on long flights. Smart LED lighting capable of mimicking daylight across different time zones helps regulate passengers' circadian rhythms a breakthrough in combating jet lag on ultra-long-haul routes. In addition, in the cockpit, the new aircraft represents the next frontier of flight technology. Augmented reality AR displays will enhance situational awareness, giving pilots layered real-time visual data. The latest generation of fly-by-wire systems will ensure exceptionally smooth and safe handling. Most impressively, the aircraft will feature AI and machine learning capabilities allowing it to analyze vast amounts of sensor data and make real-time adjustments throughout all phases of flight-reducing pilot workload while improving safety and efficiency. Finally, the maker is taking connectivity to a whole new level. The aircraft will feature high-bandwidth satellite communications, keeping passengers fully connected at 40,000 feet. From emails and video calls to HD streaming, everything will run seamlessly a major advantage for business travelers. Overall, the A390 is a sustainable platform for the future designed to lead the transition towards sustainable aviation fuel SAF and prepared for hybrid electric and hydrogen propulsion systems. Airbus is also developing low-emission ground and flight operations, reinforcing this aircraft's role as a true symbol of a greener, smarter new era in aviation. However, while the idea of the Airbus A390 sparks great excitement about its technological capabilities and range launching an entirely new aircraft program, especially in the wide-body segment, comes with significant risks. Even if Airbus has an attractive design in hand, the following obstacles could keep the A390 forever confined to the drawing board. The first and greatest risk is financial burden. Launching a brand new aircraft from scratch requires an enormous capital investment reaching billions of dollars and a long wait before any return on investment ROI is realized. Shareholders will be watching closely and expecting clear ROI signals, especially after the costly lessons from the A380 program where expenses ran over budget and sales fell short of expectations. 
Without firm early commitments from airline customers, investors may pressure the leadership to halt the project altogether. The second challenge is shifting passenger demand. The aviation market is undergoing a fundamental transformation. Passenger preferences are rapidly moving toward point-to-point -point travel and smaller, more frequent aircraft, such as the A321LR XLR or A350. This trend undermines the traditional rationale for very large jetliners designed to serve the hub-and-spoke model. Airlines are increasingly hesitant to invest in large aircraft like the A390, as these planes must fill hundreds of seats on every flight to be profitable, something smaller aircraft don't struggle with. This creates a situation of uncertain demand. Third technological advancement poses another major risk. If Airbus intends to integrate revolutionary technologies like hydrogen-powered engines or next-generation SAF sustainable aviation fuel systems into the A390's airframe, it might be wiser to wait until those technologies fully mature, perhaps in the 2050s, rather than rush into development now. Attempting to integrate immature technologies could lead to skyrocketing R&D costs and extended certification timelines, potentially 7 to 10 years from launch to entry into service, causing serious delays and rendering the aircraft obsolete upon arrival. Finally, even if the company manages to create a unique product, competitive timing remains a critical threat. If the maker unveils the aircraft design too early, its main rival Boeing could quickly respond by upgrading or expanding its existing lineup such as the 777X family to compete directly diminishing the Airbus aircraft's market advantage.